On December 12th, we're having a new moon in Sagittarius. This noon is special not only because its angel number is 1212, but also because this new moon is here to usher in new energies where we are being supported by our guides and our angels to step out with great bravery and courage and self-belief to go after what we truly want. Though we must be mindful that we don't overdo anything. The point of delusion. Now according to Joanne Scribe, with the angel number 1212, we have to be mindful of each digit. One being the number of leadership, bravery, taking courage, taking that initiative and manifesting. While the number two asks us to act, to be a little cooperative, balanced, and maybe ask for help in order to go ahead with these new endeavors. So that when you combine these numbers with the 1212, you're able to raise your frequency, be positive and stay positive so that you can cooperate with the universe, your guides, your angels to walk through these doors of opportunities, the doors that will lead to true fulfillment and the promises that you've kept for yourself that you didn't actually fulfill. This is your time to actually fulfill them. Now here we have a tight sex style between Mercury and Capricorn and Venus and Scorpio. So I would say that our mind is a little bit at ease. We have our plans, we've been calculative, and we're able to, you know, hit the goals and the plans that align with our desires to get this thing done that we've been hoping, wishing, praying on, thinking about, daydreaming about. Then we also have Mercury trining with the sponsor Jupiter in Taurus. So while we're over here being practical and logical, we're also being quite optimistic. Like maybe we could actually do this thing, this thing that we've been thinking about over and over again that we put on the back burner, making the impossible possible. We also have Venus opposing Jupiter in the most desirable, lusty, uh, hedonistic signs of Scorpio and Taurus. So I would say expenses and tools, anything that we need for this project will kind of be, you know, a little bit expensive, excessive, but hey, you do anything to make sure that whatever goal you had or whatever dream you had comes true, right? So yeah, I would say that the spot of this new moon is going to be wild in a little bit. It's going to be wild. In. But hey, what else do you do during a new moon in Sagittarius? I'll wait. And then we have the new moon with the sun, the moon conjuncting the sign of Sagittarius, along with Mars. And those three planets, that Sagittarius stellium, is squaring Neptune. So yeah, we could be dreaming a little too much, doing a little too much. I would say that we would need a little bit more clarity when it comes to steering these type of desires and dreams. Not saying that it won't come true, we just need clarity. I would also like to advise that you watch out for travels across water or anything that has to do with uh, transporting water, something around that. I also would say this is a foot and mouth thing. Needless to say that it's important that we stay in alignment because this is a very special uh, new moon in Sagittarius. It's aided by an angel number. And yeah, let's make our dreams come true in the impossible be possible. Getting carried away in a drink.